valves. Uh, what we really have here is a six-port pollock valve and a three-port pollock valve. Guys, don't be, uh, don't be rattled by uh, a little bit of the veggie being transferred into your diesel tank or a little bit of diesel being transferred into your veggie tank when you make the switch. It's so quick and the amount is so minute. Don't think you've got to have three three-port valves and, and super constrictive flow. And it's really not, it's not rocket science and it doesn't have to be that complicated. This is a very common six-port pollock valve, 55 bucks on eBay all day you can get these things. They have uh, essentially five lines in them. You only need two. These three lines are strictly regulated to the uh, fuel gauge and the fuel sending unit. Uh, unless you're going to try to somehow put both of your sending units on one gauge, then you can use those. Otherwise, all you need is the top two, and you need the right bat switch to do these. But essentially, these six port valves, you have uh, two in and four out. So you have two in. Your big one is your in line for your diesel. Your little one is your uh, in line for your... Uh, I'm sorry, this is the outline for the diesel. This is the return outline. On this, your top lines are your top, top and top is what you have to remember here. Your top line is for your top uh, electrical connection. That's your diesel end. Your bottom line is for your veggie connection, and that's for your bottom here. That's where your veggie goes in. So you've got veggie on, or diesel on top, veggie on bottom, and these are the main outs to your return lines. So you've got, uh, you've got all of your diesel and all of your veggie and no cross-contamination. And that's a great thing about a six-port pollock valve. And guys, these are bulletproof. Plus, they come with excellent mounting hardware already built in. So all you have to do is screw it directly into the uh, two holes you drill in your frame, and you can screw it right into the frame. So it's got really good, uh, um, really good application for mounting. Now, what you have to remember on these, is it'll fit any application, 65 PSI or less. Uh, 65 PSI, more than 65 PSI, you need to about think about a little bit fancier valve. But if you're running a diesel at, at more than 65 PSI, you're probably racing it, or you're running a big over-the-road rig, or you got no business putting it in veggie in a truck anyway. So uh, 65 PSI on these. Same with the three-port pilot valves that we showed you in the Beetle. These things are rock solid. They last forever. They're 50 bucks. You can get these at any parts house. Pick this one up at O'Reilly's uh, for about about 50 bucks. Uh, again, rock solid little valves, no problems with them. Uh, you just need to make sure that, again, that you're always pulling uh, fuel through a pollock valve, which means the fuel pump needs to be pulling the fuel through, not pushing it through. You cannot push fuel through a pollock valve. Uh, it just will not work. And uh, again, let's get to the switch that's kind of uh, important with these two. This is an on, on bat switch. That means it's on in both directions, and you're going to need an on-on, and you're going to need at least six poles in your bat switch. So the wiring diagrams come really right articulated right on the side of these, and that's exactly what you need to know. You've got to have hot coming in, and you've got to have hot going to both poles, because both poles have to switch. And uh, along with this, we'll be able to post a, uh, a wiring diagram that, rather than try to explain to you how the diagram works, I'd rather you see it and we'll make it in downloadable form. You can download it. Uh, I'm sure Steve will have it up somewhere. I'll have it on carolinaveggiecars.com. And you can download exactly how to hook up a pollock valve 6 port, how to hook up a pollock valve 3 port, what kind of switch you need, and how to wire it and how to plumb it. We'll have all that available for you. So if you have any questions, just pop onto the website or, or check out this, and maybe we'll, maybe we'll even shoot a video of doing it for you.